why would I think I know what is happening in the world? And I thought I'm going to talk about this and explain it, because many of you have seen me over the last few years talking about the changes in our world, the restructuring, all these things that are happening, and it seemed a little ridiculous even to me. And I'm going to talk about it. I'm intuitive. I've been practicing it for many, many years. We are all intuitive. You, you, what you hear, you are hearing guidance and getting things all the time. We may not believe it or we don't trust it. And that's the thing that we're all working on as human beings. <laughs> that's why people keep saying, trust your intuition. But we don't always do that because it doesn't seem real to us. It doesn't seem like it could make sense. It's not tangible. How could I trust that? And I went through that, especially when I was younger. And I tried to like put it away. I didn't want to know it. And so it caused me to have a lot of problems. I, I can remember as a child having these strange nightmares or something, and I couldn't figure out because it was like something was visiting me. And I started being afraid of sleeping because of it. Didn't know what was going on. This went on for a long time. Then I would start saying things that even my family and friends didn't understand, especially my parents. Um, they would tell me something, and I, w I had this recall, and I would say, no, you didn't say that. That, that wasn't it. That's not what happened. I would have this, this, this recall of what happened then that I couldn't put together. And they would argue with me all the time and cause a lot of fights. But I knew it was happening. But because I couldn't trust it, I started to deny it my entire life and I started to put it away. And then when I was in school, I was told, oh, Roger, you daydream so much. Why do you daydream all the time? That's what would go home to my parents. I didn't understand it then because I didn't know I had ADHD. So I was not looking at the board. I wasn't reading books. I wasn't doing any of that. I was receiving information intuitively. And this went on for many, many years, even in so my careers. I was doing things that I did not understand. I took a job one time, n no experience in it. And I said, okay, let me just see what happens. And then I took this one company and made it this, it became really successful. Uh, out of 500 of these um, stores that was in the company that I had, mine became the most productive, made the most money. And they kept asking me, how are you doing that? What happened? I did not know. I was operating on this intuitive information that I was receiving that caused me to do things in a different way. I didn't know how that was happening. Then that went on for years. And in 1988, I started doing it formally, meaning that I started actually writing and putting this stuff down. It's called automatic writing. That's what started to come through. Now, I did that for a while, but didn't want to tell anyone. I hid it for so long because I thought they're going to judge me. That's what we do a lot. When we think we are doing something that's different from everyone else, we're going to be judged, except we're supposed to be different. How could the world create anything more if we're all going to be the same and not willing to step outside of the boundaries, the lines, to, to experience that? But when we come from a long line of being held back, which I was, and not doing this kind of weird stuff, that's how it felt to me, that I shut it down. But it was a gift that I had. And I didn't understand it then. And you have one as well. You have many of them probably. We all do. There's no one who doesn't have that. So after the years went on, I said, I've got to break out of this. And I was terrified. And I had been terrified my entire life. I'd struggled from f with fear f or forever. And so in, 19, eight, uh, in 2018, actually, I wrote a book on fear. It took a long time to get there, but it was actually published in 2018. Because I said, I'm too afraid to write this. But what I did was... In the book, I started talking about my Wilhelm. That's the spirit, that's the information that I would receive. And it still felt really uncomfortable, but I said, I'm going to talk about it. I have to break through this. And so I said, these messages, when I would receive them, they allowed me to work through my fear. That's what happened. And I developed processes. I developed all sorts of things. I started developing courses because of this, but I'm still not telling people how it happened. That's what went on. But then I said, it's got to change. So later on, I kept being pushed. Pu you know, let's talk about this. <laughs> let's get it out there. And then the world changed. And we saw it happen beginning in 2020. And that's when I knew I had to do something different. And so I started doing live conversations where I would talk to people. I would let my Wilhelm talk because I hear information very clearly. And I could interpret it very quickly. I don't know what's happening as I'm doing it. I have to go back and read it and listen later, just like anyone else, because it just comes through me. But what I got was, oh, we're going through a change. I didn't understand any of that. But we're moving in the world to a different place. We're changing the world. And I'm supposed to help. I thought that made no sense to me. How am I supposed to do that? Then I was told, 
we gave you something in 2021. We told, they told me in 2021 that we gave you something in 2012 that was going to help you move through this period. That sounded completely crazy to me. And I doubted it. And I kept doubting it for months and months and months until I couldn't anymore. Because see, then I went back and I saw it was working and it was changing me. And then I put a whole bunch of people in there in December of 2021 to see, are, is it going to work for them? Yeah, it started. I didn't finish everything, but what I saw were changes that happened so quickly that I'd never seen before. And it was because I had received this information in 2012 because that was my gift. And so that gave me the ability to help other people unleash and bring their gifts to the world because we all have them. But we came to do different things. Mine was this, but I ignored it. I didn't want to be my authentic self. You might not have wanted to become your authentic self. And I'm telling you, it's the most valuable thing you will ever do in your life. And that is the only work that I'm doing because I spent so many years avoiding it. And it was terrible. And it caused me um, to move through so many difficult and challenging things because I wouldn't own who I was. That's the same for you for every single person, but we just don't understand that. And so what I was going through when I received this information, I was told very clearly that the way that you can help this transition, because it's going to be challenging, it's going to be difficult, but we gave you all the work. We gave you everything in 2012 that was going to help you move through this. I said, that doesn't make sense. But then I saw that it did. And then I couldn't trust it completely until I saw all of the events happening. All of the things that I was told in 2012, I'm seeing them come up and, and right in front of me. They told me in 2012 were chaos. They said, oh, you're going to have chaos. But chaos brings unity eventually because we get tired of it and we change, you see, individually and then collectively. We, we get tired of holding ourselves back and being in chaos at a certain point. So we said, okay, let's do something. Let's come together. Let's do something. But it's about coming together within you, owning yourself. And then they told me if you can have more people own who they are, magically it's going to start to change your world. It seemed crazy to me, but I know that it's true. And science is now proving that as well. There's so many other people doing what I'm doing. I'm not the only one. There are many people doing this. I had to accept my particular way. And the way that I look at it is that I know every single person is valuable and has something that they can bring to the world that's going to make our world better. I know that's true. Now, they may not always get there. You may not get there because I want to look at it. I didn't do it. So, but that's what gave me the ability to create something that could allow everyone else to do that. And I was just embarrassed about it. And part of it was I didn't want to be too big. <laughs> if I put this out into the world and talk to people about what it is, oh no, people are going to start to come to me and ask me questions and want me to do things. That was challenging and I had to let get over that because I'm introverted. I know it doesn't seem that way. People keep telling me that you can't be introverted. Yeah, I am. I don't like to talk to people, I don't, look, I don't approach you, you're never going to find me kind of doing that. And so it was challenging for a while. But then I said, no, it's a different time in the world and I have to make a difference. And the difference was given to me just as it was given to you. See, because the thing that I was told that I was to have every single person start to understand how they are perfect, understand their importance, how essential they are in being in the world. If we have more people doing that, we become empowered. We don't let people take over us. We don't let people rule over us. We have more money. We have more abundance. We have everything that we want because we have decided to own who we are. And then the more people who do that, we have a very different world because we're not fighting one another. We don't think somebody else has something that we're trying to get because, no, I have it within me. Yeah, and you see, I was given the program. I was given the philosophy that could have that happen. But I didn't trust it for a long time, but I do now because I know how valuable and important it is. And I know how it shifted me into this person that was completely afraid my entire life since I was 12 years old. <laughs> you know, my mother used to they ask my mother, what was Roger like as a child? She would think for a while and she would say, careful. Yeah, that's what I was, careful. Let me not step outside of the lines. Let me not upset the apple cart. Let me do everything else for everyone. Let me, let me just be okay. I don't want to make a scene. Yeah, a lot of us have done that. No more.
We've moved into a different world, and that means that you have moved into becoming a different person. And that person is someone who is magnificent, who has so much to offer to the world, and this is the time that you were meant to do it, but you're the only one who can make that decision. Now, I'm, can, I'm here, I can help you I can, with my coaching or my, or my program. Either one, doesn't matter. But you are going to want to do something because it's going to be a little challenging as we move through this change because human beings <laughs> have this problem with change. We don't like to go into that unknown. That's why I held back from owning everything because it was unknown, you see. You've done the same thing. There's something about you that is unknown that you haven't been willing to get to yet, that's all. We have this fear. The biggest fear that we have is of ourselves, of becoming ourselves. You know, people don't understand that. Jim Carrey, the, the prophet Jim Carrey, the actor Jim Carrey, but he's so brilliant. But you think, oh no, he's just a silly guy. He just does crazy things. No, he has so much wisdom. And he said, the only problem that people have, their main problem that people have, is they don't want to be seen. That's all. They don't want to be seen. And then he also knew something else. He knew the power of your mind to change all of that. So he decided, oh, I'm just going to program my mind. So he wrote, sit down and wrote him check, himself a, a, a check for $10 million. He ended up creating it because he knew the power of the mind. If you put it there and just leave it and just say, okay, that's what's going to happen. That's what goes on for all of us. But we may not have done that. But now is the time for you to start to become your authentic self because that's what's going to give you everything and that's the work I do.